out of the RV and back into the Jeep. I didn't really organize anything. I just kind of tossed it all in. Go. Yeah, it's my camping rig. It's my camping rig. Thank you. I like your bike. And, uh, yeah, I forgot about this. For Christmas, Bruce Jividen gave me a DJI, a DJI action camera, and um, I want to set it up as like my backup camera. Kind of use it the same way that Sean used his. Get a microphone on it and everything. I just realized I'm out of focus. It'll probably be easier without Kai though. That was a factor. Having Kai pull me around was a little bit made everything a little bit more difficult. Uh, gotta get the stuff organized. even halfway done yet and Haley's already yelling at me to come over to her house. I guess her parents invited me over to like watch a movie. I don't know what the movie is. She said something where a guy kills people but I told her that could be like almost any movie. It could literally be Iron Man. Iron Man killed people so it doesn't say much but I'm assuming it's probably something deeper. Maybe it's John Wick. I don't know. That's a good movie. Been trying to like plan out how I'm gonna do things but like I need money and DoorDash has not been the most successful for me the last couple days. I'm gonna try to just splurge on the weekend. I've been trying to like make these videos that takes up my whole morning for the most part. Um, and then on top of that, I try to spend my nights, you know, getting things ready. I've been trying to like organize stuff, but it's like, I'm like very, I'm very big about organizing and I take it very seriously. So I wanna make sure everything has like a perfect place. I think I've made like 30 videos just about organizing the Jeep in general, but like I always go back and like have to, you know, fit new things in, especially when I get new things. And once you get unorganized, it's like a whole new reset. Like once you have an organization of where things go, it's kind of like good, but when you add new factors, new things, or just, you know, get unorganized, you kind of have to go back over it again. So even just my backpack alone, I need to like go over that and fix that. I'm talking to one of my guys actually, right? Um, actually talking to one of my, uh, followers right now a uh, northern explorer I think that's the name of his YouTube channel and he was he lives in Europe and he does like overlanding stuff with his um, he has a Land Rover a newer one but he also just got a Jeep Cherokee diesel too, a Grand Cherokee diesel I didn't even know they made diesels he was talking to me and we were both talking about you know just how difficult it is to like really become big on YouTube and and he was giving me some suggestions and he was pointing out maybe I could go travel in like the West Texas area. And <laughs> I'm trying to like explain to him how there's literally nothing like people who don't live here who have never like been here, especially in Midland, Texas, there's really like nothing here. I mean, I'm sure if I was more optimistic, I could find something, but there's no trees. There's not, it's like people here, I've heard it been said that if you have green grass in West Texas, you're an important person because you really have to like take care of the yard to even get green grass. It's awful. Just overall, just a really cruddy place. So yeah, there's really not a lot here, but um, you know, I plan on getting out really soon. I feel like that'll definitely help with a lot of things. When I like started this channel a long time ago, um, the reason I started this channel was actually Liza Koshi. And Liza Koshi, if you don't know who she is, she's like this super optimistic person and she would literally just do stuff like go to Target and make a whole video where just going to Target and it was super funny. She'd make puns. She was actually like called the queen of puns for the longest time. And like, she just was like an overall enthusiastic person. And I was like, I could do that. I'm an exciting person. And just like over the past few years, like I've lost like all enthusiasm. And even just recently trying to get motivation to just make these videos. And I feel like my channel itself suffers because of that. You know, I I think that just, you know, it's one thing to have cool content with like the Jeep and stuff and doing cool things is a, one thing. But like, I think, you know, the person itself is what really sells a channel. I've heard it be described before, like, you know, without without the uh, content creator, things like what I'm doing is nothing more than a commercial. Like you can watch a car commercial all day, but it's not interesting. But you add like, you know, Casey Neistat to a car commercial and suddenly it's interesting. Be not because the car commercial is cool, 
but because the content creator that's in the car commercial is a cool person. You like his personality. I'll, I really think that all I need to do is find a way to get back into this mindset. And once I'm able to do that, that you know, maybe I'll have the right enthusiasm, the right attitude to create the content that I imagine myself creating in the first place. But I don't think it's gonna happen until I really get out there and really start, you know, kind of learning to enjoy it. So that's about it. But until that happens, I have to get the Jeep ready. I have to do DoorDash to try to get my funds up. And then as soon as I have the money, I'm heading off. Hopefully it'll be in the next couple of weeks. I don't think Haley's gonna get to go with us. She talked about going with us just for like a week or whatever, but uh, with like her health currently, I really don't think it's gonna happen because she's just slowly dying. But oh well, that's the plan for now. And I'll catch you guys later.